truck. a terrific job. My gosh. <laughs> well, that was a surprise. I was driving home from my mother's in Nashville and I saw them on the road about a mile down and I said they were just finishing up and I said do you want some place to dump that and it happened wow hi hi look at my passion fruit I used to have hundreds of these in California I've got one and here's a flower this is Passiflora edulis you cannot believe how great this mound of wood chips smells I guess it's cedar it just smells so good but obviously there was something else in there because we've got some leaves. But I lucked out, just came along right when they were finishing a job down the road. That's the best time to get free wood chips. Right, kitties? Right? Why are you eating grass? Why are you eating grass? Hmm? So this is the best looking peanut plant that we pulled up. A lot of the plants were already dead, but this one made a lot of peanuts. You saved the best for last. Yes, it is. Gosh, that's got to be 20 or 30 on there. At least. All right. Let's put them over. So we're saving those. We're separating, right? That because there's no, there's no no fungus on these last two plants. Yeah. Look at this. They're everywhere. So we're going to go ahead and take all the squash. I can't fight all these bugs. Some of them will cure and. Some may not. I had to take them out because there's stink bugs. There are 10 million stink bugs, and they're going to kill them all. So you can already see how they're eating on the stems. So if I left that in there, it'd just be all. And they cause all this bumpy roof. This was not done at all, but I just, I just want to clear out some of those vines. Yeah, see, this is what it winds up looking like. Mm -hmm. All these spots are from the sink bug. Oh, yeah, eating on it. Yep, so it biting, it, biting it. It had to come out. Yeah. This is the same thing, though. Isn't that funny? Some are pink uh -huh. and some are, are blue. They're pretty. And this is the Chinese tropical, I think. That's a pretty good eat. I don't know. First time. Okay, I just laid all the squashes out on this filmy fabric. They're gonna cure in this shop for a few days where it'll be probably 80 degrees, I guess. And then I'll bring them inside. Those window boxes, the problem with those window boxes is they don't get any rain. And I could not seem to remember 
to water them enough to keep them alive. Hi! Hi! Right now the dirt's not in there. They're, they're sitting on the steps and she loves to just sit in there. It just started pouring. I don't know where everybody else is. Oh my gosh. There's Patch and she is soaked. Oh, there's Tiger. Here's this big, beautiful melon. Cut it too soon, but it was disconnected from the vine. Hey, where's Spot? You are soaked. Oh my gosh. You got caught in the rain. You better start licking. You need a towel? I think you need a towel. It'll take you the rest of the day to dry off. You're smart. You're not wet at all. <laughs> But where is Spot? There's really big ones like that too. Yeah, I know that's a different. I yeah, know that's not but that's not a stink bug. <sighs> okay.
my goodness. That is a mess. Yeah. I didn't think you had nothing in there. I didn't either. It's all hid. Oh, I'm going to take care of that today. Yeah. Somehow or other. <laughs> Perfect size. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Plus, that's a rough side, too. That might be smooth enough. Now, where'd you first hear about this? Oh, God told me a long time ago. It's better with a broom straw, but you yeah, just got is. a piece of grass, right? Yeah. Yeah, broom straw is when this surfaces. The last watermelon was really smooth. Mm-hmm. But anyway, it's supposed to turn if it's ripe, right? It will turn, yeah. I don't think that straw is good enough. It needs oh. to be straight. There you go, it went a little bit. It's just so rough and... Yeah. Okay, so but, you want to cut it this way? Yeah, put it over the... It's got a nasty spot on the back. Well, they all do when they're on the ground. That's a good one, though. I ain't never seen nothing like that, that color. I know. Yeah, right here. here. Oh, yeah. Look right there. Yep. Oh, and a nice thin rind. Oh, that's perfect. Which one well, do you want to keep? That would be easier to put in the refrigerator, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let's eat the big one. So grab that. I do hope it's not too ripe. No, it ain't. It's perfect. I need some salt. I'm depleted. It's hot. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> That's why I brought the table because I didn't want anything to fall. Click. Dang it. Mm. Good thing we got a big watermelon. Yeah. I can't wait to see your reaction. Oh, man. That's perfect. Mm. <laughs> Golly. God save the seeds from that. Oh, that's perfect. Mm hmm. Wonderful green bean. Definitely be growing this again. Surprised to get that. I've got in here some of the last of the okra, a few tomatoes, a couple of little watermelons that I'm not holding my breath. They got disattached. These are the last of the tomatoes, almost the last of the cherry tomatoes. Got a few more eggplants coming. Still got this big question mark. What is this on my jalapenos it's like this hard scale when you cut into it it doesn't it doesn't seem right at all what else do i have in here yeah i've got a few of those new beans these are the new wild goose peas so that's going to be interesting when they start really coming in so that's all for i think september 17th Good morning everyone, Kay here on the homestead. I've just shelled all of these lima beans and I've got peanuts and okra seed pods, tomatoes to ferment, watermelon and tomato seeds drying. Hey Spot. Hey Tiger. September 21st, harvest. A couple of small, medium, watermelons, some tomatoes. I just grabbed a few of these. I was sweating bullets. No rush, I'll get them later. Really winding down. I just got this much okra. That's about it. That's enough just to eat fresh. And a few tomatoes. And this is my other big, I hopefully, it sounds just like the other one. Hopefully it'll be good. One more of those. They lay on this wet ground and then the stink bugs crawl under there in the in these grooves and just start chewing away at the surface they eat the surface so you better get them out they also eat the vines so i had to bring them and there were at least a dozen of them that little ones that got rotted from all of that bj are you guarding the squash from crickets those are not bugs eating on that so get to work kitties okay this is very discouraging 
only one of those looks like it can cure as is and they need to be cooked they got a little rotten spot and this is kind of true of all of these and i have a feeling that they say if one starts going then they all start going yeah this is already get, oh this is bad so this one's got to come out oh yeah yeah Okay, that was a lot of work growing these squash. I do have a nice kusha squash that are curing in the house. They look okay. These Guatemalan blue look nice and hard and I don't see any rotten spots. I need to get those in the house. Any of these, uh, this is like the most defective. I'll never grow this again. I think this was Chinese tropical pumpkin. This is also the Guatemalan blue. Nice and hard. No, no bugs have eaten through it. No rotten spots on the... Oh yeah, that one looks good. This one looks pretty good. This is my cardamom leaves and rosemary. And I've got a little ball of thyme in there somewhere. Fresh. That's what I call a perfect fit. All my muscadines trying out my juice steamer for the first time. It's coming out! Wow! This is exciting! Look at that! And the fruit has gone way down. It was overflowing and the fruit was black. Now it's red. So I guess the juice is going to be pink. The decommissioning of the lower garden continues today. We've already got some cover crop coming up. This is winter rye, but it hasn't rained at all. And so a lot of it hasn't sprouted. This is about to get worked up. Just pulled out the last of the watermelon vines. All I've got left here is the cotton. Uh-oh, that plant fell over. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plants. Yeah, still got nine plants. 
and it's interesting because it has pink and white blooms it's still blooming so this is what the bowl looks like after the petals fall off and then the cotton ball comes out of there that dries and splits open sections are kind of getting cover cropped differently at different times this is phacelia coming up all these peas came up that they were dropped because the pea patch was here so these are the wild goose peas they haven't been picked the sunflowers looked gorgeous but they've taken a beating in the heat We've still got eggplant some hyssop marigolds peppers uh, uh blue spice basil egyptian spinach over there and over here there's two little rows of okra left we're taking out this big clump of okra now it's going to require a chainsaw actually and i'm going to take these beans out i'm clearing these beans out these are limas right here and the last row are green beans might still get some fresh green beans off that and then this is the row of tomatoes pretty done not much gonna happen now on there bean plant out so i'm pulling one bean plant out at a time and i'm just getting all the seeds off these are dried lima beans you can hear them rattling in there some are already split I just got a great pink long eggplant harvest. Look at that. I'm gonna have to figure out how to preserve that. Here is Patch. <laughs> it rained for about a minute and she's wallering in the garden and she's so dirty. Oh yeah, doesn't it feel good? It feels so good. Good girl. <laughs> Oh, you're helping to till. Good girl. <laughs> you like this? You like the soft? You like the soft dirt, huh? You're going to be licking all afternoon to get clean. <laughs> okay, that's the adult. And here are the, well, I guess they're the babies. They've hatched. They're no longer nymphs. They can't fly. And you can knock them off into a bucket of soapy water. So this is what happens to very successful marigold plants. They just keep producing and they get really heavy and they sort of, the branches sort of sit down all around the stem. And then they just, at some point, give up the ghost. You know, they get split. And the branches die off. And then they get pulled out. But look at all of these blooms. And it's almost October. So this one especially is gorgeous. It has nothing around it. So it gets sun all over. This is the... Cover crop, Phacelia, or Phacelia, Phacelia, 
coming up and it makes the beautiful flowers and these seeds I got from Territorial Seeds. I spread them with my hand and this is not a good way to do it because you forget where you are. You can't see the seed. It's too small. It leaves your hand and you're not sure where you were. So I got a lot on this side and not much over here. <laughs> But I've got a lot of cover seeds, so Randy just tilled, well, he just raked this. This was just seeded with radish, I believe. Anna's hyssop is still, mmm, delish. Still putting out a little bit of a bloom, and bees are still enjoying them. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Over here, well, that's the little patch. That was my first pea patch and a lot of dropped seed. They're coming up. I may get seeds out of it. Depends. I may get peas out of it. It depends on when it starts freezing. That's the second pea patch and you can see that peas dropped there too. This was the squash and watermelon patch. The watermelon patch just got tilled and seeded with, I believe that's seeded with radish or mustard, not sure. And then this section over here just got seeded also. Was this mustard or radish in the bean section? It's all mustard. The radish is. Oh, okay. Right. So this is all mustard. Okay, this is the harvest of the new wild goose peas. First batch of those, most of those are dried. These are dried dragon tongue beans on top of that eggplant harvest. And then he's carrying up two watermelons. It's getting pretty cleaned out. Okay, this is what you call an ant hill. Very predominant. Can't miss it. I got another one starting over here, but this is like a Miami Beach luxury hotel, but in Tennessee. Okay, it is September 24th, and I've got a few little pieces of okra. Uh, these are some of the, I think these got in the wrong I think these are are those are those yeah peas got a few tomatoes in here and I've got a lot of where are they oh yeah these are the lima beans got a lot of limas to shell got two watermelons and the monster sweet potato and one more sweet potato.
What's that? Probably shut the tailgate. Yeah. Close it. Wow, this is amazing. Did you make those to fit exactly? How did you make those to fit exactly? Well, that's why I bought, that's why I bought them on that road, because they fit right the back of the truck. Yeah. Wow. Holy cow. The expression fits like a glove was made for this circumstance. <laughs> All righty. Deal. There we go. <laughs> okay.